Good afternoon, I'm XDSL. I'd like to start this video by apologising for the hum in the background. It's it's really hot in the UK right now, like really hot. And my air conditioner's on and it's louder than I would like. My mic tends to like uh, block a lot of it, but uh, I can't get rid of all of it. So there's a hum in the background. I'm really sorry. I'm going to try and be louder to compensate for that hum. Um, anyway, sorry dudes, I'm not turning it off. It's too damn hot. Uh, <laughs> uh, I want to talk today about... Okay, I want to talk today about um, community. Uh, the Linux philosophy or Unix philosophy, um, the power of, of of using open source programs to solve a problem. Uh, but all that stuff's boring. So I'm going to tell you about that stuff in a way that makes sense, in a way that relevantly solved the problem for me this week. Yeah, sounds good, right? Okay, problem one. There you go. Uh, problem one is screenshot tools, okay? I like taking screenshots. I use them as a sort of reminder of things. I save screenshots when I want to remember something. I use screenshots. Uh, this is in context of video creation as well. Like if I need to remember something about a game, I'll screenshot an aspect of the game or I'll screenshot something about the launch out, you know, or I'll use screenshots in videos. I use a lot of screenshots, way more than most people I would guess. Um, and the problem I've had is this. I want to take a screenshot of this screen right now, right? Boom. Okay. This is, this is a shortcut key I use to bring up XFC Screen Shooter. And I go, do I want the entire screen, an active window, or a region? Okay, I want a region. Okay, I want, I want, I want this region right here. Okay, boom. There you go. You should be done, right? No. Because now I need to save it in Dropbox. So I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to go there. I'm going to go Dropbox. I've got a little shortcut to my screenshots folder. Hit save. That screenshot's now saved, right? Great. Uh, and I'd been using a simpler tool than that. If I just wanted to take a screenshot to throw into Discord, I'd use a little script, a little script, a little line of little line of command in my i3 config to just throw it in just throw it on my clipboard so I can paste it to Discord. All great, yeah? All of that sounds amazing. However, the problem with this is that it's two tools. I couldn't take it. all I wanted was a screenshot tool that had take a screenshot, save it in Dropbox, and leave it on the clipboard. Yeah? So just one go without any pop-ups, yeah? Um, that seemed easy in theory. It seemed like something people would want, but no screenshot tool really does that. So I talked in an uh, invoice chat with my friends about this problem, a little bit of a complaint. And then Drew, who's smarter than me, was like, I can do that. I've got a script that does that. And he's like, very quickly, literally before he went to bed, was like, there you go, sorted, and then just left. Um, this is amazing because, what, let me show you what this tool works. This is my screenshot tool. I hit Control-P on my keyboard. You can hit whatever you want. Uh, and this purple box appears. Purple box selects like whatever I put my mouse over. If I click once, it takes a screenshot of the whole box. You can see I'm not going to load it. You can see it right there. Look, there's a the whole box. Or if I want it just a little bit, I can go, uh, I can just like, instead of clicking, hold, let go. There you go. That's on my clipboard and in Dropbox with no interaction, no user interaction, no pop of confirmation. It just works. How do we do this? Well, um, the script is here. I'll call the screen a hold line win a mod, uh, shift and P. I bring, I get the XFC screenshot in case I want to upload. But if hold down mod and P, I get my screenshot tool. There you go. Done. Great. Works brilliantly. How does it work? Well, there you go. It's a script. So you've got your shabash thing at the top there. Then I've got a variable called save location, which is, in my case, home. HexDSL. That's where my home is, my home directory. Dropbox, images, screenshots. Great. And then I've got a date variable, which is basically I want the date to be year, month, day. And then the time with seconds. We add seconds to that because if you take more than one screenshot a second, they'll start overwriting each other, which could be a problem and all sorts. So the, the seconds help. You can have nanoseconds, but I don't. I personally, I'm not fast enough to take a screenshot more than once a second. Not really something I'm worried about. Uh, the next line is main, which is a tool for taking screenshots. That's it. That's what it does. It takes screenshots and we save it to the save location. Yeah, that that's what <laughs> that's what we're doing here. Yeah. Um, and then we've got the uh, the color coding, which makes it the, the color that matches my desktop, which is fabulous. Um, yeah, there you go. Done. That's it. And then the next one, Xclip, which uh, is Clipboard Manager for X, lets you interface the Xclipboard. Great. <laughs> this is, that's it. I'm not going to go into more detail about the options we've used and the, the specifics, because you can use the man page, because these are open source, well-documented tools you don't need to tell you about. And then there we've got also, well, send notification, screenshot taken. That was more for testing purposes. It works. I don't need to test that anymore, so I've just hashed that out. Done. My whole script is, what, five lines of code and two gaps. So even with gaps, I can put the save location separately. Seven lines of code. There you go. Seven lines of code. Is it seven? I'm to... Seven lines of code. Five lines if you take the two, the two gap lines out. That is a very, very simple script that anyone who uses Linux could think about for a little bit. And if you knew the right tools to call, you can do it. That's the point of open source. And this is two small programs that do one job. This is, well, it's three small, but it's bash to run the script and to take the variable and do all the bash stuff. 
which is great because of that saying really we all know about bash name little tool there you know taking screenshots tool um an open source tool on the command line command line tool that takes screenshots in x it's all it does right and then we've got x clip to prop my clipboard that that is it that is what that is what it does um and then if you wanted to you can notify dash send to, to send a notification these are open source tools that all do one job but by putting them together in the right order with the right with the with the right flags and extra bits and stuff we have a tool here no real coding required just a basic script knowledge we have a tool that does exactly what i wanted there's, there's no caveat here it's, it's the thing i want right done and that to me i mean that shows i mean that that's just the power of open source isn't it i mean like think about it guys i mean this is literally what open source has is there a way to, i mean there might be ways to do this on windows i honestly don't know i should imagine not closest thing on windows I ever saw was this application called green shot and it like did this because you could set preferences as to what to do in an image captured but then i had to have that tool running all the time with this it just calls the script runs the commands done that's it it's wonderful it is something that shows to me the power of open source it shows you what happens with unix philosophy linux philosophy being applied individual programs that do one job and that's all they do being linked together to make something larger like larger than the sum of the parts something that solved the problem for me and made my life you know my life my workflow tangibly better um and then community i wouldn't have i'll be honest i wouldn't it was, this would have taken me fucking days to put together because i'm not good at this stuff i'm good at games and videos and stuff i'm not good and good at videos <laughs> all games and mice. i have no skills but you know this oh good i could have done this I, I genuinely could have come to the very similar script eventually would have taken me longer but because drew is well practiced he was able to do this very quickly and simplify it and they go this is what you need there you go and uh that is wonderful doing this actually like using community of open source open source projects you know and doing this and, and sharing it this to me is an example of why i'm on linux it's a tangible thing it shows you why the command line tools are better it just shows you right there this is why command line tools are better and it shows you why learning basic scripting is useful learning your way around the command line is useful this little story i have i feel like just just pretty much sums up it all for me i'm like yep this is linux right here this is this is linux and i wanted to share that story with you because i think it's interesting and important important i think is the right word because while my screenshot tool is not particularly amazing like anyone could have written the script really as i said anyone could have done it, but that's why it's amazing it solved my problem and it's the script that i'm going to use pretty much every like multiple times a day probably forever that ah, i've just hit my monitor so i don't know what happened there Ugh. <laughs> i'm gonna use this you know forever it's something i'm just gonna use it's gonna be something i do from now on the way i work i've backed up the script I've got a little script that backs up all my scripts weirdly just throws all my shit in dropbox backs up my configs as well throws that shit in dropbox not as hard script uses the copy command <laughs> and you know that's the great thing because it's in dropbox then i reinstall the computer go to another computer just pull that script over done that's it sorted and all this to me is the wonder of open source and it's stuff that i don't think you can do on any other operating system because even if the commands exist which i'm sure they don't on windows the community is not there and even if you have the community and you have the commands the the flow the concept of sharing the innate desire to use your skills to help other people with their problems if you can you know that it, it's beautiful this is this is open source to me and uh as much as I don't like getting ground in and getting deep into Linux philosophy or into like uh, the argument of what's good for Linux and what's bad for Linux, I just want to play games on the best operating system I can, which is why I'm here. Um, this is why all that stuff that I don't care about, well, I don't, don't care about, all this stuff that I don't, that I don't focus on. This is why it's important. This, this, this screenshot here, this screenshot tool I've got, this little script that does screenshots, is why all this shit matters. It's it just, I don't know, it's wonderful for me how easily this little story sums it up. And I'm babbling now, so I'm going to stop. But yeah, if you would like to take my screenshot tool and use it, I'm just going to, I don't know if I can, I think I can throw it in, I think I can pretty much throw all that in. Yeah, I should be able to chuck all that straight in the description below the video. I'll do that. Scroll down. Past everything else, it'll be right at the very bottom, buried. You know why I'm burying it? So you guys have to scroll past my links. You should check out my links. I've got Patreon if you'd like to support me and what I do here. 
which I'm not sure, I'm not sure what I do to be honest. Uh, and I got I got I got links to Discord if you want to talk to me. And I'm not I'm not sure why you'd want to talk to me. But if you want to talk to me, Discord links are there. I use Mastodon. I've got Twit Twitch Twit Twitter. There you go. I'm going to speak then. And Twitch and all these other things. Feel free to jump in, get involved with the community, and be part of this wonderful thing. Thank you for watching. I've been HexDSL, and genuinely, this video has been a pleasure to record. I'm not just saying that. I've really enjoyed talking about this because it makes me happy that all these things work. And this is cool. I love Linux. Genuinely, I do. And you know what? I'm all right with that. It's pretty cool.